Hola, estudiantes. Bienvenidos. Hello, students, and welcome. This is Dr. Fryer, and this is actually one of the first, this is the first project we're doing in our Spanish class this year, and we're calling this the five photo story, My Identity. And what I would like to do is show you an example of a completed project, and then I'm going to show you the blank one that you are going to complete. You are going to find this in uh, Google Classroom, and that is where you're going to complete this, and then you're going to go ahead and uh, turn it in there as well. So let me first show you a completed project. Um, this is an example of a five photo story project. And so as the name implies, it is simply five pictures. Uh, for this particular part of the project, you don't need to be recording your voice or adding anything else. Um, but this is going to do several different things for us. In addition to helping us learn a little bit more about each other, it's also going to provide us with some pictures that we're going to be using in some other projects that we're going to be talking about and we're going to be using language around. So this is my first picture. These are Willow, or not Willow. Willow was our former dog. This is Moose and Scarlet. Este foto es de los perros de nuestra familia. This is a photo these are this is a photo of the dogs of our family mi segundo foto the second photograph eso es mi familia this is my family mi esposa que se llama shelly that is my wife shelly y, no es, y los hijos de nosotros the children that we have uh, nuestros hijos se llaman rachel sarah and alexander our children are Rachel, Sarah, and Alexander. And so anyway, this is photo number two. This is photo number three. Uh, este es un máquina en nuestra casa. This is a machine in our house. Uh, es, es un aire acondicionado. El aire acondicionado. It's the air conditioner. And this is a, a, a condenser. Uh, and so anyway, this is something I learned to replace. The condenser, este um, artículo, secuesta... Trece dólares. <laughs> it cost $13. Uh, it was great. A friend of ours helped us this summer. This is picture number four. Me gusta el carne. Me gusta cocinar. I like to cook. Uh, and so um, this is a picture of some pork chops that I was cooking. Este carne es puerco. This is pork. This meat is pork. Y la última foto, the last picture, es mi esposa, que se llama Mrs. Fryer. Y ese es un parte especial de un pared famoso. That is a part of a wall that is very famous. Uh, it is from Germany. De Alemania. It's part of the Berlin Wall. So my wife was a teacher in Germany. And that is a famous uh, piece of history that she has. So that is it. That, that is just a slideshow that has five different pictures. You don't have to use pictures of yourself in this. Um, you can find pictures um, from other places, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So this is an example of the slideshow that you're going to open, that uh, you're going to go ahead and edit this. You're going to put your name in it. And what I'd like you to do on slide number two is I'd like you to list um, five or more things that you like or enjoy. Okay, And then you're going to find pictures to put here on slides three through six I guess or it's more than that actually it slides three through eight because um, there's a cover slide and this is the second slide and so uh, your steps are going to be listing things that you like that you enjoy or they help define you and then you're simply going to be putting pictures here now the website we're going to use is called unsplash and so let's say you're a dog lover maybe you like golden retrievers you can search for golden retriever and Unsplash is a wonderful website to use because the photographers have given permission for anybody to use their pictures and do uh, really whatever you want to with the photographs and you don't even have to be giving them credit. Um, it's, a, it's a special website for that reason. So when you find a picture you like, I recommend you click on it and there's several ways that you could save it. Um, the fastest way is to, if you're using a trackpad on a laptop, use two fingers and you're going to tap with two fingers and that's going to right click so you're going to be able to copy the picture and then you can simply come here to your first slide again you can two finger tap and choose paste 
and then that picture is going to go on. But be careful, because if you use the handle here in the middle, look what happens to my picture. Oh, that's not good. That's called stretching the picture, and you don't want that. So if that happens, go to Edit and choose Undo, or press Control z What you want to do instead is drag the corner like that so that the, the picture stays in proportion. And I recommend making that picture as large as you can, and you can just put that in the center of your slide, and voila, I am done with picture number one. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do that same process on each of your slides until you have five photos that are about you. And when you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and turn it in. Now, you also could download the pictures, but if you do, I wouldn't click this download button on Unsplash. I click the little arrow here in the corner and either choose small or medium. And that way you're not going to have such a tremendously large uh, picture. The original pictures here are really, really big. But Unsplash is a great website to use, and we'll be using that for different projects during our class this year. So um, I hope this is helpful to you. If you have questions, let me know, and I look forward to seeing your five photo stories and learning more about your identity.